Hello everyone, Greg here. Hope everyone is doing well. This video is going to cover clip packs in Ableton Live. Specifically, what they are, application, and how to make them. If you've used Ableton for any length of time, you know that it's a loop-based sequencer. You take small amounts of sound, and over time you loop them, and you create a finished piece of music. A clip pack is to a point is the opposite. It's taking a finished piece of music and breaking it down into its original parts. Buildups, breakdowns, intros and outros, you get the idea. But the reason the clip pack is so powerful is because it offers a high degree of control within Ableton, especially during a live set or live performance on the stage. And what I hope to do through this video is educate those that don't know about it about the clip pack. It's a really underutilized feature at Ableton, and I think you're going to really like it. That being said, let's get started. The track I'm using today is Lego Welt's Disco Route. It's a progressive track, it's easy to loop, and it's a lot of fun to work with, which is why I chose it. Off screen, I also have markers for that are written down in order to speed the video up as well. So now that the track is loaded, and it's also warped. You want to make sure the session is clean, meaning you have no sensor returns, and also, just for safety, make sure you have no audio effects at all. You want this to be a really clean workspace. Processing, if you'd like it, will come later, but don't add it in now, add it in later. So the first position I want to mark is position four, but I'm not going to do it on this track. What I'm going to do is hold down option and drag it down two spaces. And this is so that you do have a master copy of the track itself in the event you get lost or you just don't like the clip pack period. You can delete it and start again. So I'm going to zoom in on the waveform and I'm going to move the playhead to position four. I'm going to loop it for one bar. So that's the loop I wanted. But now what I'm going to do is rename this clip. In the very beginning, I'm just going to put four backslash one capital B. And this is my notation I use during my live sets or any time I start making a clip pack. The four corresponds to the position within the track or the waveform. And then the one B corresponds to one bar. If it was If it was two and little b, it would be only two beats, but a capital B in my case is a bar. So now that we've got that down, I'm going to copy the clip down again. And the next part I want to copy and loop is position five for two bars. So position five, two bars, excellent. I'm going to rename this five backslash two B. I'm going to copy it down again and find the next part, which is at position 12 right here. And that's gonna go for two bars as well, so that's fine. Again, I'll rename it 12 to B. And what you're seeing right now, slowly but surely, is a clip pack coming together. I'm just going through the track and looping the parts that I want to work with in a live set. So what I'm going to do now is finish the clip pack and to speed the video up, give you guys the uh, ability to see what it looks like after it's all edited, tweaked, and everything like that. All right, here is the finished clip pack. So now that it's all broken down into loops, I can actually manipulate the track on stage. For example, let's say that I had just heard this track and I wanted to play it at a club, I'd broken it down into a clip pack, and I wanted to manipulate it as I saw fit. Well, if I wanted to, I could just start it off with a drum beat, like so. And just change it to the melody. So I like the sound, but I want to skip forward a little. Let's go to the vocals. 
down at Measure 114. Now from here I can just have some fun with the clip pack itself. Alright, so you get the idea of what I'm doing. You have the ability to be very creative, and while you will never see me do this during a live set, as in jumping around like that, I wanted to give you an idea and appreciation of what you can do with the clip pack. But you're not done yet, you've got one more step to do. What you need to do is open up the pane, the search pane here, and under places I have a desktop folder. And what I want to do is take the clip pack and put it into the folder marked clip packs. Since I've already renamed it disco route, what I'm going to do is drag it into clip packs. And what it, this does is it actually creates a folder for all of those clips. So I can open this up and you'll actually see when I open this, that all of my clips that I created are here. Now, why would that be such a big deal? Well, let's say these weren't here and I wanted to load this in for my next track in a live set. What I can do is drag it over and they'll load near instantaneously into the live set. You have to wait a little while depending on how big the song is and everything, but really this should give you the appreciation of how powerful the system can be. Hope this helps. Hope you learned something. It's one of my favorite features of Ableton. Can't live without it. Never have since I started DJing with the program. Take care and thanks for watching.